This is Sterling Vineyards Platinum 2010. And um, yeah, even though it doesn't say it on the front label, it's actually, <laughs> it's a Cabernet Sauvignon, 97% Cab, just about 3% Petit Verdot blended in. And this is really their, uh, sort of their, their flagship wine now. Um, second vintage, but they're taking their the top grapes from their vineyards in Napa. And they're doing some different things with them. Portions of the uh, grapes, certain lots, are actually barrel fermented, um, which you know for red wine is not so common. Um, but they feel that really adds some distinct character to the wine. And um, they blend it all together. The wine gets aged for 20 months in primarily French oak. Um, they use about half uh, new barrels. Uh, Paul Hobbs was the consulting winemaker on this. Um, and, you know, I guess the, the, the idea is they have great vineyards, they have great resources in Napa Valley. They want to put together a really super California cab. And that's what they're doing. Um, 2010, you know, one of these vintages that, that um, you had really cool um, uh, well, really cool weather, uh, which was unusual for California. Usually it's very hot and you're trying to mitigate against the heat. But in, in 2010, yeah, overall conditions were cool and the grapes stayed on the vines much longer. You had really long hang times. So the grapes got to develop a lot more uh, complexity and character. You're seeing that in a lot of these 2010s. Um, yeah, the nose on this is big. It's um, it's black cherry, black olive, cocoa, sort of mineral notes like you know wet stones. A little bit of mocha in there. Really sort of rich, complex nose. Like that. Let's try it. So on the palate, this wine is big, well-structured, really kind of chewy. Um, you get a lot of that <clears throat> dark chocolate cocoa coming through on the mid-palate. Um, black cherry, primarily. Um, those mineral notes are all there, um, but it's, it's all very sort of tightly wound. Um, even though that, that sort of cherry note hits you right up front, lingers a bit on the finish. There's a sense that it's that it's still really being held together. Um, let it breathe for an hour maybe. Best, get some bottles, put them in your cellar for a few years because it seems like it's really gonna develop beautifully. Mm. Nice, happy drinking. <laughs>